And while one state rep gave a tearful apology and asked for that censure, that huge break, the other state rep sat stoically in the audience and said nothing. Check it out. State Rep Cindy Gamrat sworn in and immediately testified that she agreed with everything in the House investigation that both representatives misused state resources and committed misconduct. She had her attorney by her side if she has any facts on her side. It is that State Rep Corser came up with and carried out the elaborate cover up, the email with the fake story that he was caught having sex with a male prostitute to deflect from their affair, but also both use state resources to try to further their political careers. He was in the audience while Gamrat spoke. He said nothing. Word is he will testify first thing in the morning. Gamrat apologized and, in effect, asked this committee for mercy, censure rather than expulsion. I am sincerely devastated that I've made the mistakes I've made during my service to the great people of Michigan. And I have only begun to pay the heavy price that will come from it. It is in this spirit I humbly request a censure for the penalties of my actions. And to seek forgiveness for my transgressions and to save this esteemed body from spending further time and resources on this difficult chapter. During the afternoon session, Gamrat took questions from committee members. Did her answers go far enough? What do committee members say? Some say not anywhere close. We'll see you next hour at 5. Live in Lansing, Jim Kurtzner, the now Detroit. Jim, before you go, this was a bipartisan committee, correct? That's correct. It's four Republicans, two Democrats. All right. Jim Kurtzner, thank you so much. We'll check in with you again soon.